Ahoy training campers! Today I will show here the steps on how to operate the main engine lube oil system and the lube oil purifier. Here we have the lubrication and piston cooling system or the lube oil page. The purpose of the system is designed for lubrication of bearings and cooling of diesel pistons which is the main system, lubrication of camshaft bearings, fuel pump drive cam phases, and exhaust valve cam phases which is under the camshaft lubrication system and for lubrication of the diesel cylinders. In the main system, the lube oil of certain temperature is supplied under certain pressure for circulation and lubrication points including the main bearings and connecting rod bearings, crosshead bearings and crosshead guides, the truss bearing, bearings for the camshaft drive and other attached mechanisms. Part of the lube oil supplied to the crosshead bearings is directed for cooling of the pistons from where it drains to the collecting tank via pipes equipped with side glasses in which allow the cooling oil flow to be checked. In the camshaft lubrication system, lube oil of certain temperature is supplied under certain pressure for circulation and lubrication points including the camshaft bearings and valve tappet guides. Lube oil is collected in the camshaft crankcase oil pan where it is maintained at a level sufficient for being caught by the rotating cams for the purpose of lubricating the cam working phase, then lube oil is directed to the camshaft lubrication tank. In the diesel cylinder lubrication system, lube oil is supplied by a special nipples directly to the bushing work phase. Thus, the system page includes three subsystems circulation and lubrication of main engine bearings and piston cooling which is under the main circulation system camshaft lubrication oil system and diesel cylinder lubrication or the lubricators now let's head on to the ofs page or the oil and fuel separator page before being used in the diesel engine Lubricating oil should be treated to remove water and solid particles from it. This is necessary for decreasing the main engine equipment wear and damage to the engine parts. To accomplish this, along with filtering and settling, the centrifugal separation process is used. The centrifugal separator is used for separating two fluids example oil and water or for separating a liquid from solid particles example oil from metal inclusions such as coke vanadium sulfur etc alpha laval separators have been chosen as a prototype for simulation in general the most essential and interesting functionality has been accentuated especially for purposes of education and for training and some generic separator has been modeled as a result the separator number three can operate in clarification mode which is clarification slash refining mode with regular removal shooting off of separated solids example sludge and small amounts of water from the separator bowl. The separator can operate in manual and automatic modes. Some automatic operations are applied in the manual mode. In the simulator, the separator operation can only be started manually. Automatic separator operation mode ensures proper purification of a product provides automatics parameters as correctly chosen and the lube oil separator turned on in the optimum manner. 
And now, let us proceed with this simulator exercise where I will be using the Transas Engine Room Simulator for quick familiarization. So, let's go! Lube oil system preparation and putting in operation. First, check the level of circulation oil in the collecting tank. If replenishment is required, use the makeup valve. Set the pressure limit valve of pressure adjustment to the position that ensures the minimum pressure in the system. Switch to auto mode the thermostatic valve control. Specify the set point for the temperature controller. Open the valve of a cooler, which in this case, I will open cooler number 1. Select the manual mode for the circulation oil pumps and start them. In this case, pump number 1. Make sure there is pressure in the system. Adjust lube oil pressure using the pressure limit valve. Set the circulation oil pump control to the auto mode. Check the level of oil in the camshaft lubrication tank. If replenishment is needed, use the makeup valve. Set the cooler bypass valve to the 100% position or fully open. Start a pump of the camshaft lubrication system using the manual mode. Make sure the oil is under required pressure. Set the control of camshaft lubrication system pumps to auto. Open the cooler valve of the camshaft oil cooler. Adjust oil temperature using the cooler bypass valve. Do not forget to close the makeup valves to prevent oil overflow. Start the fine filter pump. Afterwards, we proceed to start the lube oil purifier. Before starting the separator, it is necessary to supply operating water in the system. Water on and open supply of opening and closing water in the separators, that is the open water and closing water buttons. The lube oil separator is started in the manual control mode. Auto manual switch is in the manual position. Check the separator brake. Brake button must be off. Open the water on valve, lock the bowl, feed the closing water or close button, check the status of the open button which must be off. Start the separator drive electric motor, check the separator bowl if it develops rated revolutions around 10,000 rpm. As this is done, the bowl is opened and the remains of water product and sludge are removed from it open the fuel inlet valve turn on the pump for supplying the product to the separator which is the feed pump button must be on as this is done flow valve feeding fuel to the separator is closed turn on the heating button and set the required product temperature Set point controller. Supply the operating water for water lock. Operating water button. And the bowl is filled with water until the water appears in the indicator peep hole in the water drain line. The separator bowl is filled with lube oil. The flow valve must be opened slowly to supply the product to the separator. Check the required lube oil temperature. The product pressure at the lube oil outlet or back pressure is controlled with the aid of set point bar controller. If water lock is broken because of the high back pressure, it is necessary to reduce the back pressure by 0.5 to 1 bars and or to decrease the fuel feed. Set the time of removing the sludge from the separator bowl. The time is set using the time minute controller which should be in the auto mode. 
check the separation quality which is the water content in the oil product before or after the separator including the content of solid particles the separation quality is simulated by monitoring the water contents percentage in the inlet and outlet including the impurities which is in parts per million of the inlet and outlet displays check the separator operating parameters by using the indicators on the control panel and try to conduct watchkeeping on the lube oil system there should be no alarms present during the operation and that's the end of this simulation video on how to operate the main engine lube oil system and the lube oil purifier thank you campers for watching this video Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, check my other ERS tutorial video link at the end of this video.